Hi, and welcome to Outdoor Nature Adventure uh, Ministry. Uh, eventually, I would like to put this as a skit um, and make people realize how serious the life and death truly are. Um, but this comes from the Matthew 7, um, where God uh, basically um, meets uh, the person and he, sa um, he says, I don't know you. It's like, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not do works? Did we not do this, that, and the other? Um, so I'm going to try to paint a picture for you today <clears throat> of a very scary scene. And this could potentially be you if, uh, if you died in, <clears throat> oh no, I guess, <clears throat> um, I'm just looking, um, uh, <clears throat> um, okay, so I'm going to paint, paint the picture. Um, okay, so imagine, um, you dying and thinking that you're a Christian. It's like uh, you're in the world and you've uh, done a lot of good deeds and you've done a lot of good works and you've gone to church your whole life and, uh, on, and missed uh, only a few Sundays and you've not even gone to Wednesday church and helped out in the church. Um, but you still lived in the world. You still did what the world said to do. You still were um, getting drunk. You were still... Um, having sex before marriage, you were still doing things that weren't of the Bible. Um, and so, um, so you were taken to the pearly gates and, um, you're waiting in line, or, and there is a long, and so you see a picture of the pearly gates ahead of you. Um, you can see the bright shining, uh, of heaven behind it. And you can see that there are angels, um, um, that there are angels who are uh, w taking uh, people either away from the pearly gates or towards the pearly gates. Um, <clears throat> and you're waiting in a huge long line. Um, and, um, and as you're waiting, I mean, you're, you're inching closer and closer and one by one, the people are either uh, leaving or coming. And, uh, and you watch ahead of you as angels are taking... Um, um, people away and they check the books um, and you start to notice uh, most people are escorted away by demons and very very few times do you see the gates opening and welcoming uh, new citizens um, it does say that the uh, way is very narrow and that very few will find it um, and so um, <clears throat> So you see uh, people ahead of you, uh, one by one. Um, they, they're all, all shapes, all sizes. Um, I mean, they're all colors and all ethnicities. And <clears throat> you see them one by one. Uh, they, uh, the angels check the book. And uh, you notice uh, that most people are going the opposite way. Um, and you, you begin to worry why uh, why is this happening? But you uh, assure yourself that you're better than uh, than they and have more works. You have preached the uh, the word, tithes, gone to church, helped with various church programs, and done all sorts uh, of good. You get closer and closer, and you begin to fear because of the amount of people being sent away. Three people, um, and you notice uh, the the person ahead of you. Um, and they go through the life, and they um, and this person gossiped, and this person um, did wrong before God, and didn't really uh, confess these things before before they died, and so they were escorted away, uh, three people away from you, um, and you notice you start to notice the whole scene, and um, <clears throat> and you notice how there's uh, a person um, who's guarding the gates, and then another person who is reading the Bible. And then there are other messengers who are either escorting uh, people in or uh, escorting them out. Um, three people away from you, two people away from you. Uh, the person ahead of you, um, they go through their life and um, find out that um, they were just kind of living a sham of a life. Um, and they were living like the world. They were doing traditions and so they were escorted away. You're next.
you see the scene uh, in Messenger Angels in the Book of Life is open, um, and it's dazzling um, splendor, and an angel reading and finding names. They call your name. Um, you walk up and, uh, and are before the angels. The angels call out your name, and, is, uh, and it is he, um, and is he in the Book of Life. The angel stands as you stand there anxious and fearful of the answer. The angel reports, he is not in the book of life. You question him and say, and say, I did ministry in missions and preached on street corners. I aided those in times of need. I did disaster relief. I, I, knew, um, I knew of God. The angel says, during your life, did you gossip? Yes, but it was only telling others of situations that needed, uh, they needed to hear. What about that person uh, who wronged you? Did you forgive them? Where did you spend most of your time? I watched sports and uh, cheered on my team. I worked all day and came home and turned on the TV and checked my, my email and social media. How much time did you spend in the Word? How much time did you pray? I picked up the Bible at least once a month, uh, and especially on Sunday when I went to church. We prayed when we could. Um, John Doe, your life was all about this world and not living for the one who made you. Uh, but I but I did what what the world does and what the pastor told us to do there um, uh, There lies the problem doesn't it say not to be a friend of the world um, and uh, And friends of the world is an enemy of Yahweh does it not say that the Lord should be first? Yes, but I did so many it is it is true. You did go um do a lot of good, but Christ has been trying to get your attention and get you on the right path for 68 years. How has, uh, how has he done this? Angel, remember the person who came to you and said uh, to repent. Remember the video you watched that said to turn away from the world. Remember all the times you fell, uh, felt uh, you were going on the wrong road. Um, uh, has been uh, God has been trying to get uh, to you and you refused him um, this is true but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good person and have, and have helped many it is time for, for you to go no wait I'm not done take him away but I knew God and loved him next in line I can't be going to hell I can't why is this happening I wish I knew about this I wish I had spent more time in the word um, and I'm on my way to hell. No. Okay, so this is just a skit that I came up with. Um, it's just trying to get you to realize that you've got to be serious about God, and you can't play around with God and His Word. Um, so um, this is just to get you to realize that one day you are going to be before God, who sees everything. All of His messengers are always around you. And they write down everything that you've ever done and ever said and ever even thought about. Um, if you're playing go games with God right now and still living in this world and watching sports, watching TV, and doing all that the world does, you're not of God. Um, God's children want to be in, in Him. They want to spend time with Him. They want to pray to Him. They want to worship Him. And they want to absolutely do the right thing by them. And um, we grieve and, um, and don't feel right when we do the wrong thing. Um, yes, I may screw up. I may do something stupid. Um, but I repent and I turn away from it. Um, but this is a skit that I um, have come up with um, where I obviously have, have different people. And, um, and, if need, and I would love to do this for any church. But... I just want people to realize that the seriousness of of heaven and hell is real, and we have to be um, giving our lives over to Him. Um, so, um, thank you for joining me. Um, hopefully, this was a wake-up call, um, and I'm going to keep doing videos like this because I've I've created more um, stuff. Um, uh, until next time, bye for now.